Hello people, in this video, we want to learn this topic, Kyasanur Forest Disease. This is uh, KFD, not your KFC, KFD, Kyasanur Forest Disease. So, Kyasanur is a forest here in Karna uh, Karnataka, India state. So, basically here you have the Western Ghats, right, the forest. So, here you have the Kyasanur Forest in the Shimoga district of uh, Karnataka. And here you find this disease, Kyasanur Forest Disease, okay. However, now this disease is there around uh, in surrounding states also. <clears throat> 2012, they have found that this virus, uh, this disease is uh, there in uh, surrounding states like Tamil Nadu, Kerala, etc. So basically, where did it, uh, where did they find it initially? In 1957, they found this virus in a dead monkey. So this is a dead monkey here. How do you draw a monkey? So a dead monkey in that they found the virus, Kyasanur forest disease virus, K-A-F-D-V virus okay so just see if on this slide everything if you have understood here's a dead monkey kfd is the kasnur forest disease uh, shimoga district karnataka india now it has not is not just in the karnataka state of india now they have found it in 2012 in uh, kerala and tamil nadu states this is kerala here and this is tamil nadu here right they have found it in both these states also <clears throat> initially when did they find 1957 when uh, from where did they get this virus from a sick monkey okay from a sick monkey not a dead monkey okay from a sick monkey they got this virus okay so who is causing the actual disease virus okay it's a viral disease so let's get started about this disease why are we reading basically this is latest news uh, saying that castor forest disease uh, is spreading and uh, the number of cases are increasing okay so karnataka health officials are saying that the cases are rising why because of low rains, that's what they have said here, due to low rainfall, that's what they are saying here. Now, how did this disease come? Because of virus, virus is there in this uh, tick, okay, tick is uh, sticking to the monkey, monkey is becoming sick, monkey might die and it might transmit the disease to man, it is man to, sorry, monkey to man disease, okay. So, so remember, this uh, uh, tick can affect lot of animals and a uh, lot of uh, humans but the human to human transmission is not there other animals to human also is very less mainly it is monkey 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 okay so cast no forest disease if you see a dead monkey don't touch it be away from that dead monkey you should not handle the carcass with bare hands okay so now first of all let's understand this virus what is this virus more technical information you have to write an exam no you have to pass no so you have to say the virus is rna virus it is from the family flabby viridae what type of virus is uh, causing Kasnur forest disease? Flaviviridae family virus. It's an RNA virus. RNA virus. First of all, what is virus you know? No? It is a smallest unicellular organism, obligate intracellular it is. And it will have a nucleic acid in the center and a protein uh, outside. Okay. So, this is the virus. Next. Tick. Which tick? Haemophysalis spin spinny gera i'll remember it as some spin tick okay this is a heart tick spin some spin is there in its name so we'll remember it as spin spin spinny gera okay so this tick tick is affecting many people uh, mainly it is affecting the monkey because monkey is there in the forest right now uh, this monkey is important to us because monkey only is transmitting to human which monkey means that all the indian species i think you can write some names here if you are, want some technical information there then who is it affecting? These people who are going into the forest as of now, these people are getting affected. Uh, forest workers, um, uh, etc. Some uh, tourists also if you are going there. Okay. Farmers also. So how is it going so far? Did you understand this slide people? Very good. So you have understood all this uh, everything, right? So basically in dry season, that is from November through June, this uh, disease will increase. Okay. So currently we are in what? Yes, we are in between the season, dry season, right? Currently, it is February, um, February here. So, obviously, that is why this news has come here that the Kyasnur forest disease cases are increasing. You understood this much, no? Shall we move to the next slide? Good. Similar virus they have found in Saudi Arabia, it seems. That is one of the CDC uh, websites are saying this anyways. So, look at the, uh, this better you draw in the exam, you will get marks. So, here you have the stick. This tick is uh, laying eggs and uh, you see even to its babies it is giving all the uh, virus. So, it is infected for life and it is also transmitting to its own children. Now, in the nymph stage, what is happening? 
this uh, uh, tick is uh, affecting the monkey okay so here they are saying uh, this uh, tick is the reservoir or vector of this um, heart tick this heart tick is the reservoir or vector of the virus okay and the monkey is the host that's what they are saying here and from monkey it is coming to man okay so if you pet a sick monkey or if you touch a dead monkey's carcass so you may get affected okay so where is this happening in south india so it can go to from tick to man also they have directly shown tick to uh, other animals also they are showing but you see this man is not getting affected by the other man okay so man to man it's not there human to human it's not there other uh, animals uh, or through their milk to man also they have not reported so basically the tick seems to directly affect the human also so if you are going into the forest you have to be careful okay then shall we go to next slide people so what are you reading today KFD, Kiasnur forest disease. Very good. It's a viral, viral disease. Okay. Next, it is going quite. It's co going to cause what? It's going to cause a viral hemorrhagic fever, zoonosis from animal. You got this. So, viral hemorrhagic fever is caused by so many viruses. There are many types of viral hemorrhagic fever. One of them is Kiasnur forest disease. Usually, these type of diseases are geographically restricted, like you saw now, South India. <coughs> So, Kiasnur forest disease is a tick borne viral hemorrhagic fever uh, con currently confined to a small focus in South India. You should say it is in South India now, not just in Karnataka. There are 500 cases annually. How many cases? Annually, only 500 cases. Yes, but in Karnataka, if you are living, that seems like a huge number, right? Okay, then monkey is a principal host. But because of destruction of forest, what will happen? Everybody is getting affected. Okay. So, this disease will increase is what they are suspecting. Okay, people, done with this slide. Next slide. So, what are the other types of hemorrhagic fevers that you know? Definitely, you know dengue. Very good. Ebola. Kiasnur forest disease. This much you remember. Okay, main names you remember. Now, Kiasnur forest disease. Look at the other details that's available here as of now. Let me show you the thing. Okay. So basically, who is the reservoir? Monkey is the reservoir. It's transmitted by ticks. Focus people. Transmitted by what? Ticks, heart tick. Incubation period is 3 to 8 days. So you will get the disease after getting, uh, you will show the symptoms after 3 to 8 days of getting infected. And uh, geography is Karnataka state India. I think now you can change it to South India. Mortality rate is 5 to 10%. So you can die 5% chances that you, 5% of people die or something like that you can say guys we are now moving on to the clinical features okay so clinical features in severe cases these can happen remember in severe cases only this can happen hemorrhage they bleed from everywhere pulmonary edema so they will have difficulty breathing that is what fluid in the lungs right fluid in the lungs pulmonary edema then neurological features they'll have severe headache nerves are affected remember and then uh, iridokeratitis in survivors that is uh, they will have some problem to the eye to the iris iris is the one that is the portion around your pupil that is this part right that colored part that you see right that one and then cornea cornea is the outermost layer right so that those things are affected okay i'm moving on to the next slide here okay so basically clinical features only will continue so basically they are saying this is a, a biphasic fever. Initially this guy will get it, right? After 3 to 8 days of incubation, he'll start showing symptoms. Suddenly he'll get fever, chills, okay, uh, headache, etc. Muscle pain, gastrointestinal systems like symptoms like vomiting. Sorry, let me cool down. Gastrointestinal symptoms like vomiting, diarrhea and all can be there. Bleeding problems, this guy will bleed from everywhere like I told you from uh, mouth, from nose, etc. Even he can have stools and uh, blood in stools, okay? Um, because of intestinal bleeding and then after that uh, he might uh, get better and then again um, after some uh, days in the third week again he will start showing symptoms and uh, this some people will go through this biphasic phase where they can have uh, a fever again neurological manifestations like um, severe headache mental disturbances so you should be very uh, uh, very aware of this uh, things that are happening tremors right tremors see tremor put your hand like this and create the tremor 
and then vision defects like we told you photophobia etc they can have right fatality we told you 5 to 10 some people are saying this 5 percent you remember they can die also because of the disease okay clinical features done people good now let's move on diagnosis how can you diagnose when the patient comes in you take the blood you try to detect the virus itself or you can do some pcr polymerase chain reaction uh -oh, polymerase chain reaction so you will detect the molecule right which molecule we showed you know all that uh, i think either they will detect the nucleic acid or protein or whatever sequence they want to check they will check right that you will have to ask the microbiologist okay so diagnosis then you can also do serology antigen antibody you can check by elisa this is standard microbiology so for the, all this you should have that kfd uh, actual how to test you should have that uh, sequence everything you should know okay antigen antibody positive control negative control all that you should have in the lab to check okay kfd treatment take the travel history of this thing and there is no man to man transmission so don't fear that guy you can treat him well supportive therapy symptomatic therapy because this is viral for viral what do we do symptomatic supportive therapy very good this is what we do okay no specific treatment is there only symptomatic and supportive therapy just like most of the viral diseases so you maintain hydration hydration they put them on fluids hemodynamic stability means what see this is hemorrhagic he could lose blood so basically blood how much blood volume is there what is the uh, cardiac output what is the stroke volume what is the uh, mean arterial pressure is he his are his uh, organs getting uh, uh, what do you say blood is supply is enough or not what is the vasodilation what is the vaso constriction that is only hemodynamic stability you maintain the uh, fluid balance uh, what is the urine output etc etc okay that is what is hemodynamic stability then you will have to hospitalize this patient right to do all this yeah then manage uh, neurological symptoms how do you manage they didn't tell morbidity mortality you can uh, decrease by uh, doing all this they are saying okay got it people now i'm going to the last slide that we have prepared prevention how do you prevent prevention of what kfd carcino forest disease okay as a human what and all you can do you can stop the exposure okay be careful when you go to the forest use a repellent use some full body clothes okay don't touch any dead, dead monkey carcass then uh, you can try the vaccine if it is available there is no human to human transmission so you can be smiling monkey 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 how to prevent monkey i'll have to educate the monkey and i have to stay away from monkeys tick vector control source, source control pesticides for ticks okay virus flaviviridae rna virus how do i stop this hygiene how exactly do you prevent see this much prevention i have told you extra extra you write okay kfd kyasanur forest disease so now we have updated it it's found in south india forest first it was identified in this kyasanur forest in shumoga district karnataka now it is there in the surrounding states also so hence we have made it south india okay bye bye people just one thing you know here i think there may be a thing that if there is a dead monkey you have to report it you will have to report a dead monkey okay to help them control the disease 